the only pizza dough recipe you'll ever need. And yes, I'm in my robe and I'm staying in my robe for as long as I can today. It's Saturday, leave me alone. One cup plus two tablespoons of lukewarm water. I know that's a weird measurement, but I've tested this out so many times and that additional two tablespoons just works perfectly. Two teaspoons of active dry yeast. You can also use instant yeast if you want into that warm water. And then one teaspoon of brown sugar. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whisk this all together and then I'm gonna let it sit for like five to 10 minutes until it gets all bubbly. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. But first, you wanna blend it until it gets creamy looking. Now that's what it looks like. Once I've mixed all that up, I'm gonna let it sit like that until the yeast starts to activate. This is what it should look like after about 10, 15 minutes. You see the yeast is activated. You get this bubbly texture and it's doing its thing. That's when you know it's ready. Now I have three cups of sifted flour and um, one teaspoon of pink salt that I'm just gonna mix together before I pour it into my liquid concoction. I am obviously using a stand mixer. You can also do this by hand. I'm gonna turn this on low. I should probably plug it in first. I'm gonna turn this on low as I start to pour in the flour. You're just gonna let this guy go for about 10 minutes until the dough stops sticking to the side of the metal bowl. This is what it should look like when it stops sticking to the side. If your dough ends up being a little bit too sticky and maybe you measured wrong or something, don't be afraid to just add a little tiny bit of flour at a time and turn the mixer back on. You don't want a super sticky dough for this pizza. Now get a bowl and oil it up. Get out your dough. Form it into a ball. Stick it in your bowl and cover it and let it sit for two hours or until it doubles in size. About an hour later, my dough has doubled in size, so I'm going to flour up my working surface, punch out the additional air, and then split this dough into two. This recipe actually makes one large pizza or two smaller 10-inch pieces. I use a dough mat to roll out my dough first, and then I stretch it by hand. Save this recipe for your next pizza night. And did you know that October is National Pizza Month? 